Patrick's Day, and then a top 20 showdown in Tallahassee. We got Florida State, Duke, Joanne, Graffield, the rubber match. It doesn't get any better than this. Fans filing in. Should be an exciting atmosphere here on. For Duke, but it's the two, three, four hole hitters, too, that are so impressive. A lot of power and can get it done in a multitude of ways. One hop, one pop, and a throw across. 2-1 pitch, skied a mile high. Waycaser calls off Flaherty. Two away for Royalty. And I wanna both sides of the field. Jam shot, gonna be tough. Torres ranging over. And the side is retired. Well, this rubber match is gonna be a fun one. I hope you're buckled in. This is her second view of right on the weekend. Smokes it up a box, base hit, Kaylee Munch. Starts things off with a bang for Florida State. The energy in that dugout. You see the retro uniforms. Alumni who are here this weekend. I hope you got one. As that one pops out the glove, Mudge trots down the second. One-0 count coming here now to Jitchum. With a runner in scoring position, Knowles threatening early. Slow dribbler, charging in, can't make the play. Is Baker, that was tough. We'll see how they rule it. Upper, she's down. Right back to the box. Oh, they got Mudge in a rundown. Throw back, nope, they're gonna try and tag her. They got her. Torres pump fakes. Got the hesitation from Mud. It is a big play, Aria. It's a good job by Jalen Wright, but what you have right there is Florida State running what they call a down angle. You see Beecham in, in the top right corner of your screen. On the year. Hits it hard. Will that stay fair? Yes, it will. Just inside the line, Knowles will strike first. Trouble in the outfield. Relay throw home. Kerr, the tag, and she's out. How about the relay? It was Burgess. Getting it to the shortstop, Baker, and home they're able to gun down the place. When I like this response here, you see Harding just takes that pitch down in the zone. That's a great piece of hitting right there. Beecham coming across easily to score, but then you have Janai Kerr just getting held up there, out by a couple of steps. The relay was on. Lost had a hit in both games. Works the lock. Been a nice balance for Florida State. An aggressive approach. And back to the plate. Isa Torres, who's had some clutch hits this season. Dribbler on the ground. Gold's got it, throws across. And Wright minimizes the damage. Gone after an incredible career. The 2-2 on the ground. Flaherty, the veteran, to Ross. And there's one away. Hit hard, pass Torres. And Burgess, second hit of the weekend. She's on first. Oh, one out. That one hit firm, though. Burgess, heady play, sees the ball in the dirt. And hit hard, another base hit. Marissa Young gonna hold Burgess at third. But Torres has him on the corners. One down. For the out at home. Hit on a line. Mudge has it, should be deep enough to get Burgess home. And there's that sack fly you talked about. We're tied at one. Phenomenal two strike approach from Freelich. Duke threatening to dethrone Florida State. Another looper. Torres this time backpedals onto the grass. And so, just like Wright, Royalty limits the damage to one. We've got a great one, folks, to the bottom of the second week. Different Florida State hitters just became more disciplined in the box. So today here, game three, Florida State making those adjustments quicker. And Adam Field first pitch. Right up the middle. And the key, too, to a drop ball is not trying to do too much. You know that it's already working down in the zone. Just get your barrel there. Drop barrel pretty well. That one rips right to second base. Adam Field had to dive back in there. Situations like that, because you just never know. This ball smoked to right field, but right at Davidson. A couple of loud outs here in this inning on Jayla Wright. Zone pitcher Duke came out swinging. A couple of balls on the ground, a couple of fly outs, yes. 
two for two now for Mutch. Eddie Field a second, she'll stop there. Florida State seeing Jayla right well here in the inning. Well, and almost right on cue, right? Then if you're Marissa Young, you start. The rubber match between the Knolls and the Blue Devils. Four pitch walk, Beecham not phased and happy. Little dribbler to first, and Wright does get out of it. Knowles leave him loaded. Clutch pitching from Wright. The, the lineup is really good spot for Duke to see what they're made of. Jennings pops it up. She flies. She's safe. Edenfield just took that extra half second. Another one on the ground, and yet another single. Oh, Duke. Executing to perfection the short game. Two on, nobody down. As Davidson steps in, first pitch swinging. Shallow right field, way Kaser comes in. Runner tagging, throw down to third, and not in time. Jennings gets under the tag, and advancing to second. Heads up by Anna Gold. Shallow fly ball. This one looping in, Waycaser makes the catch. They're going to test her again. This throw to the plate is not in time. Jennings speed the difference. Duke takes the lead down to third, goes Golds. All the way around, even that last one coming in to score. Now to the short game again. That'll bring home another run. Duke showing off the speed here of their roster. One of the sayings is speed kills, and it does right here. You see right off the bat, Gold is immediately scoring with two outs from third and other side of the field. Doing a good job here today. Off the leg of Reed, right to Beecham. Right place, right time, and the inning. Hit hard on the ground. Vega bobbles, handles, throws across. And so Wright battles back from 3-0 and in the count to retire Harding. Proud of Jayla Wright, who has just been balling. Oh, her defense let her down that time. A rarity. But it's the round thigh high if they can. Ross at first, the freshman Torres. He's it down. Throw down is not in time. Torres has a rocket for an arm and unleashed another good throw. It's really catching my eye. Underneath it, Burgess, you can hear a yell, mine. Good communication makes the grab. Off the end of the bat, it is over the head of Jennings. RBI double, Michaela Edenfield. Seven holes, strike right back. You know what they say, Aria, speak it into existence. Edenfield goes down to get that pitch over the head of center fielder Jennings there just getting beat. We talked about where the Duke outfield was playing, shallow outfield. That ball was driven deep. I love how fired up Edenfield is coming through clutch. You got your Knowles in a good position here. We talked about it. extra base hits, clutch. That gets away from Torres to third goes Edenfield. On the ground, Baker gobbles it up and throws across. Florida State gets one back. Chip. Timely execution, too. Four pitch walk to Freeland. She's been a tough at bat. Here the Runners, lead off batters, getting on base with no outs. It's a really high statistic. On the ground, Beecham stays with it. Oh, wow, what a throw. Pays to have a bazooka as an arm. He cleans up mistakes. There's Giselle Tapia to the circle. Reed goes to first with it, and the third is Freely. Strike three calls. This is a chance to dethrone the queens of the ACC. Clarity retired by Golds. And a 
good start for Wright. 1-0, hit hard. Vega has it, two away. Mudge retired for the first time. Still hasn't struck out a Noel yet. Beecham, right center, hit it well. That's gonna get to the gap and to the wall. It's a double for the freshman. Florida State's got some two out magic. She represents the tying run at second base for Florida State. Kerr right to the shortstop, she dropped it. Beecham gonna score, we're tied. Applying the pressure to the defense right here. You see Jason E. Beecham does a great job just running the bases, motoring down. She's got two outs. She's going on the swing. Janai Kerr, love that piece of hitting, hitting it so firm. On the grounds, Vega. She's been active here this weekend. Been asked to do a ton and has fielded her position well. However, build history like that for their program. They've got the right makings. A win today and a series victory this weekend will be a loud statement to the college softball world. On the ground, could be two. To second for one, they just cut down the lead runner. Nice play by Torres to be able to handle the throw, stay on the bag. There is one away. We'll start to her freshman campaign. Into that gap, it's gonna get down into the wall. Are they gonna wave the runner? Nope, hammering the brakes. Marissa Young kept Davidson at third. And Freelick behind her. As the Seminoles trying to create some force outs. Coach. Way of safety more than anything. That gets away from Edenfield. Coming home, touching the plate is Davidson. Duke leads. Just a situation that you don't want to happen. McKenna Reed, that one down in the dirt, but Enfield trying to receive that ball needed to flip that glove over, try to make. With runners in scoring position. On the ground, Florida State gonna give up the run. Flaherty throws to first, touching home is Vega. Duke's got a two spot here in the fifth. Just my one, two, three, four hole hitters. It's six, seven, eight, nine, two. Hit hard, Flaherty keeps it in front of her and retires freely. Not before Duke scores two. She's so fast, we've known that from Day one about her, but I love the production she's had in the box. Tries to go to the short game. Walker quickly gets there, covering perfectly Vega. That's how you practice it. Been sitting on off sweep pitch. This one left center field, gap ranging over Davidson. Two outs in the fifth. We'll do the full count again. Walker ready to go. Misses high, Edenfield. Patient A.B. He gets to the walk. Florida State has the tying runner now at the plate. They're here and there. Sometimes going to the outfield, sometimes getting at bats. Rolls it over. The throw across in time. Scores for the Knolls. Chopper, Torres, one away. Torres, they're gonna have to test the arm and she executes to perfection, wow. And still having them beat you. Jennings just finds ways to get on base. Right up the middle, she's got her second hit of the game. That's okay. In her second season. This one rolled on the ground, Ross has it. We'll take it to the bag herself. 
Dak skies it in the infield. Who's going to get it? Vega calls it off. And she makes the grab. One away. As best as possible. Doesn't always happen that way. Dribbler on the ground. Vega underhand toss. Two down. Beecham, right field, got some carry to it off the wall. She wants three, and she's got three. Hers also been a 385 hitter with two outs. Walker's got her in a full count. Just misses. A little. First pitch strike. Walker gets ahead. Harding five for eight. On a season of hopeful dominance from Marissa Young's group. Saw their 21 game winning streak snapped yesterday. And Davidson walks on four pitches in knowing who they are. Hit hard base, knock Vega. That's the ninth hit of the afternoon for Duke. Swing and a miss. Danley changed planes that time. On the ground, step to third, throw across. That is huge for Florida State. Jason E. Beecham gets the 5-3 double play. A couple of freshmen for the Knowles, shutting down the seventh. From Lily Walker. Oh, it hits Ross. Amaya shakes it off, smiles her way down to first base. The Knowles bring the tying run to the... This has been a winner since she picked up a bat. That one gets in between the legs. Ross goes down to second. Tor Back action too. Shout out to Courtney Sinas. Gave a nice little speech to the team. Hit hard. Gold's got it. Throws across one away, and they keep Ross at second. Over the first baseman's head. It'll score a run. Edenfield will round second. She's going to third. Throw to third. Diving stop by Gold. And the Knolls within one. Single right off the bat, you think. However, Michaela Enfield has other plans right there, just gonna get completely fisted right off the end of the bat, taking it down the right field line, running the base as well. She knows it's a double immediately, and then there was a slight hiccup out there in right field. The 2-2 two -two to Waycaser. Hit hard, it's scooped, it's gonna tie the game. Florida State keeps this game alive. Vega didn't have a play at home. Did the smart thing. Waycase are getting it done. Nice little situational hitting opportunity there. Vega, oh my goodness. She's gonna put a couple more across the board if they can. Flaherty trying to stay with it on her knees, not in time. It was a tough play for the senior to make. Diving to her left. One one coming to Baker. He's gonna shorten up again, gets it down. Beecham to first. Clarity covering. Advan she puts it down. That's a good one. It's gonna stay fair. Single for Tapia. Now, Duke's gonna test Florida State. Now, uh, Danley just unsure of herself right now. Oh, it works out for Duke, how about that? Run comes home. Helps to call timeout and try to regroup here. And you see the inexperience of Ashton Danley just not working in Florida State's favor. 
And let me say of Danley, but at that moment, I'm you know sitting up here in a lot of emotion. Swings of momentum have been palpable. That's a big strikeout there for Danley. She's had some success. To center field, Kerr diving grab, could not hang on. Another run's gonna score. Gold gets into second base. Kerr not having played as of late, but still. Davidson driving it out of the park. The tried Davidson has been a star this weekend. And Claire Davidson still didn't have a hit on the day and was looking for her pitch. Knew it was only a matter of time with the way she'd been swinging it. We mentioned it already, but four for six coming into today. Five ribbies, definitely the most clutch hitter for the Blue Devils. Comes through big. Hit on the screws. The right to Torres. A four spot for Duke in the top of the eighth. That's a good swing from Much, her third hit. That's how you would draw it up if you're full of right, who's been so consistently good for Duke throughout the season. Right back to the circle, right. What a pick. That saved an error. There's a walk. That is the third walk for Wright. So the Seminoles have two aboard with one down. And on the hands, popped up. Staying in the infields. Tapia. In between the legs, both runners will advance. several weeks and it's been a fun series so far full count hit hard Tapia squeeze it it's a fair ball she steps on the bag and the game is over Duke gets the job done they come to Tallahassee well hold up a minute they're gonna review to make sure this game's over Robbie Guest gonna look at it. Gonna make it interesting nonetheless. You see Ross, I think what's interesting too, I think that ball bounced foul, it's first bounce. Now whether or not it crossed the line back there, I'm not exactly sure from. And the out recorded. Call upheld, Duke, for the first time ever, wins the series against Florida State. Marissa Young's team is for real, folks. And the Knolls have not lost an ACC series since 2022. All that ends here today and this weekend. Alex, the Blue Devils are impressive. You talk about OKC makeup, OKC mindset. This Duke team has a shot to do that and more. I think what I was most impressed with this weekend from Duke is their ability to win in different facets, Aria. They're so versatile, they're out there on the field, they're so deep in their depth, so good in the 